request one minute notification of incident report 33 Ocean Terrace, Long Branch. I've noticed the inconsistency between the last time this ordinance occurred before the election in May and now. The inconsistency of Mayor Pallone and Councilwoman Selly. At that time, there was a dispute over the two positions of public safety director and police chiefs. And the question being whether those two positions should be in place. Well, most municipalities either have one or the other. In this city, by adopting Ordinance 28-18 tonight, we're literally codifying those two positions. And I object to that the way Mayor Pallone and Ms. Selly objected to that. Plus, at the time, I do recall there were problems as far as the police chief and the captains. Five captains on the police force. So for that reason, that's the first reason I'm requesting a no vote on Ordinance 2818. Secondly, on the officers hired after December 31st, 2012, there's a bracket, $53,039 to $121,233. It's quite a salary, but there's no title. Therefore, until the ordinance is properly complete to know exactly what the title is for $121,233, I don't think this ordinance should be entertained by the council. Thirdly, have this position. It's a troubling position. Under non-union, full-time positions, can somebody on this council explain what a confidential assistant is from $30,000 to $88,000? What is a confidential assistant? Nobody on the council can explain what a confidential assistant is. Does anybody on the council know what the qualifications are for a confidential assistant? Um, I'd like to know, um, Mr. Renaud answered that question. Well, I'm asking the council. The council is voting on this ordinance, not Mr. Renault. It, it's a civil service title. There are there are one of them in each department, so it's a civil service title, a confidential assistant. It's an unclassified position. What is the current salary of the confidential assistant we have? There are a number of them, so I couldn't tell you all their salaries. The confidential assistant in the bracket of thirty thousand to eighty-eight thousand under the administrator's office. Don't you don't know what the salary of it is. Well, I don't expect you to know. The council is to know. You're voting on this. Do you know what that salary is of the confidential assistant of the administrator's office? What is it? Everybody's not a guess. What is it? Everybody not a guess when nobody has the answer. Was this position advertised? The position was advertised. And people in City Hall with experience were overlooked for this position at a salary of 88000 Can anybody on the council tell us where this administrative, this supposedly confidential assistant came from? Is not what you won't say. I'll say it. The confidential assistant came from Eatontown, where your administrator came from. <coughs> the confidential assistant worked for the administrator. One more question on this council. Again, I'm going to ask, was this position advertised? No answer. All right, I see absolutely no need for any adoption of this ordinance. I mean, you people just don't have a handle on this. To pick the ordinance of titles and salaries and try and ramify the people with inconsistencies displayed by Pallone and Sally from the last time we visited these ordinances, the questions on a confidential here, and nobody, confidential assistant, an $88,000 salary that you can't come clean with answers on, you're not in a position to adopt this ordinance. I request the ordinance be pulled or a no vote be done on ordinance 2818.